Welcome to CBS Sports HQ. This season, Crown Royal supporting the local communities that serve us off the field at kickoffwithcrown.com. With our two-time Super Bowl champion, Brian McFadden, CBS Sports senior NFL writer, Jonathan Jones, I'm Eric Casillas. Um, Cincinnati, I always say, you know, can't bet with them, can't bet against them. Yeah. Do you start to trust them a little bit No. Now? No, not at all. This is Charlie Brown, and I'm like, no, yes, Lucy's going to hold gonna up. I'm really kicking the field goal. I'm, she's going to let me You're kick it this time. You're not going to kick it. They're going to move the football. It was a good win for Cincinnati, but it was so ugly. I mean, scoring 15 points, what, 242 yards of total offense from that cast of guys on that side for Cincy. Luckily enough, their defense played well, and they were able to benefit from the injury that happened with Teddy Bridgewater. In comes Drew Locke. Clearly, he didn't look like he was comfortable or prepared to be able the to orchestrate. The only touchdown they got was with Drew Locke. I mean, yeah, but it just... I, I'm not saying that they yeah, would be better off. The, the rhythm seemed like it was a bit off. But they did enough to win today's ball game. But when you look at them getting into the playoffs, because of their division and it's just so unpredictable, that's the best thing they have going I'm gonna for them. I'm going to get to the division in a second. Do you trust the Bengals a little more today now? Can I get – come on, who's coming with me? Yeah, no, I appreciate it. I'm not getting in the van with you. Um, no, you no. wait for the bus. No. You, you, know, you know what, that van didn't start. I, he's in and I walked away too. No, and, and you know what, but I appreciate it because here's the thing. I've felt that the Bengals have been pretenders all season long. I also thought that the Denver Broncos have been pretenders all year yeah. long. They were 3-0 and to start, and they beat a bunch of nobodies, right? They beat the two New York teams and I think Jacksonville or Houston or something like that. They, they've never been for real. And so I thought that the Bengals were the better of the two pretenders, and I thought that the Bengals would come out with the victory. They did come out with the victory, but they did so in a much uglier way than I would have anticipated. Had you told me that Teddy Bridgewater was going to get knocked out in the second half when the Bengals had the lead, I would have said, well, the Bengals are absolutely going to win. Instead, they had to claw back, scratch and claw yeah. with the long Longest play by far of the game. That touchdown by Tyler Boyd in order to win the football game didn't convert there on the two-point conversion, so they left themselves open to losing that game. Yeah, this was a defensive battle. The Bengals' defense showed up, as we heard Joe Burrow say, so kudos to them. But no, I do not like the Bengals, and if they make it to the playoffs, I certainly am not going to like them in Super Duper Wild Card Weekend. All right, so who do you like in this division, right? Okay, so here's where we are. Baltimore is 8-6, and six, and we don't know what's going on with Lamar. Since he's 8-6, and six, oh, by the way, those two teams play next week in Cincy. Cleveland is 7-6. and six. They're going to play the Raiders. If they win, they'll be in first place. If they lose, they'll be in last place. And Pittsburgh is 7-6-1. and one. We have a draft right now. Oh, my you goodness. Put a, a, a fourth person here, our producer Rob Arciero. Everyone's going to get a team. You get first choice. Who wins this division? Oh, I got to get first choice. You get first choice. You know, well, I mean, I know who you're taking. <sighs> I think the winner... So that ball game next week wins the division. Oh, boy. I'll go with. Uh, by the way, you want to hear the schedules? Because you're not going to like it. It's brutal for everybody. And you know who might yeah, have they the best. they got to play each other. And right? by the way, you know who might have the best schedule? None of them. <laughs> because, because, because here you go. Ready? You got a lot of Kansas cities. Baltimore plays at Cincy, the Rams, and Pittsburgh. Cincy plays Baltimore, Kansas City, and at Cleveland, Cleveland plays Vegas, Green Bay, at Pittsburgh, and Cincy, and Pittsburgh, at Kansas City, Cleveland, and Baltimore. Wow. Give me Cleveland. Give me Cleveland. Absolutely. Tell me the Cleveland schedule one more time. Cleveland oh. plays yeah. Vegas at home. Yeah, that, that could be a win if Baker Mayfield comes out or Case Keenum comes back. They got Green Bay. Don't even... that, that's a loss. At Pittsburgh. That could be a win. At home against Cincy. That's a win. You like Cleveland? Yep. Well, we don't even know who Cleveland quarterback. Well, I, I know be. that. The, I know. My point, I know Mr. who Mr. their running backs are. But this. Is oh, my so you point. think if it's Nick Mullins it's Tuesday, you're no, okay? Well, I mean, I'm not okay. I'm saying that it has to be Baker <laughs> or Case Keenum on Tuesday. We don't know. I, I would yet. say this: if Cleveland beats Vegas, they got a good shot. They might have the shortest odds. I, I, I mean, they don't have a Kansas City on, on, on the lineup. They have Green Bay they, guaranteed but, but loss. They, but they got an extra game. They got to win just to get to eight and six. That's okay. Yeah, they got that's it's, it's Cincinnati. I think you got to win go. your division games. So I don't I don't mind that it is division games that they have to. You know win. you know I'm going to take. I Go think I'm, me, me, me and EK take the same team. Go ahead. Baltimore. I'm going to take Cincinnati. They're, they're pretenders. I, I, they don't, they've never been on this stage. You see me massaging my temples they as have, I say it. They, I don't feel so good about it. I, but, but I'm saying, look. Marvin Lewis ain't walking through that door to get them into the playoffs <laughs> just to lose. Look, they play home against Baltimore next week, and, I, and Baltimore's banged up. Lamar will be back by then. Okay. They're going to play home against Kansas City. Lost. I, I'm going to say they're going to. 
let, give me a split. If I can get a split of the two home games, then have, I'm going to Cleveland to win the division the last week. That might be a loss. It might to be. To Cleveland. But yeah. I'm going to Cleveland. And if I don't know, I don't I know what like, Cleveland's going to look like. I feel like if Lamar can get back to being healthy, if they can get a piece or two on the defense, I think the Ravens still got a legit shot. I think that winner, the winner of that ball game next week between Cincy and Baltimore. If you told me Baltimore doesn't win another game the rest of the year, I would not be surprised. I, I, I can see that as well. They've, they've lost some heartbreakers, and, and that like could today, that, that could have won. Yeah. That, that, could, I, that could roll into something. And how do I know they're? I mean, what's Lamar Jackson gonna look like? I don't know. That's a big if, yeah. right? I mean, also, too, one team you guys are overlooking the Pittsburgh Steelers. They're I'm, getting healthy on the. You're walking side. into Arrowhead next week. I'm not. Matter. I'm not overlooking them. You're walking into Arrowhead. I, next I, week. I have a healthy amount of respect for them, but they that that half win, and we said it. I think we all three said it when it happened. That half win against the Detroit Lions yeah, that's gonna, tie, gonna that's going to haunt them. That's yeah. absolutely going to haunt them. I think, I think, okay, so eight and six. You got ten's going to – anybody who gets a ten's going to win the division. Yep. Yeah, that's And fair. if nine wins the division, it might be the Steelers might at nine, six, But and I one. think ten's going to do it. Somebody will probably win the Steelers with you. season is on the line against Kansas City. Well, but then they finish home against Cleveland, home against Baltimore. If they beat Kansas City – They're, they're going to win the division. Yeah, yeah. that's oh, why yeah, yeah. their sure, season sure. is on the line against Kansas City. Well, tune in next week. Here's the point. They literally could finish any order one, two, three, four. I agree. And you could not be surprised. That's how good it is right now in the AFC North. Speaking of good, it was really good in Baltimore. Aaron Rodgers against the backup, and it came down to one play. You'll see it straight ahead. Yeah, HQ. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.